Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Corner coming back to you again. I hope you guys are doing well and take care of yourselves. Just wanted to come back and first of all, thank you guys, all of you who are new subscribers. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, one of my goals is definitely to get to 10,000 subscribers. And if you're listening now and you have not subscribed, please do so. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well as punching that little bell so you get the notifications. And again, I really, really appreciate you guys. I appreciate the comments. I have not had a, had a chance to actually go through everything and, and respond and things like that. But uh, nonetheless, I really appreciate it. I just wanted to, like I said, just come back and, and go over a couple things and ask some questions. And please feel free to answer and the uh, let's get let's you know strike up this conversation in the in the uh, comment section. Um, first of all, as far as the crypto market goes, guys, uh, don't worry about this. Okay, we're going through something right now, and I'm going to get into that has kept this uh, from happening. And two, 2017, early 18 was really a fluke. Okay. Now, what I mean by a fluke, it happened organically. It happened because of interest of people getting into the crypto market before uh, very wealthy people got in and started manipulating it. It's the same thing that happens in the stock market. Okay. And believe me, you know, some people would tend to say, who's, you know, who has that kind of money? I mean, come on. We all know. There are people out there who we don't know about who have, I mean, who have more money than they know, uh, they'll know what to do with for several generations. Okay. So, you know, as you can see, the market cap here is, I mean, less than 300,000, 300 billion, sorry. Uh, any 10 of the most wealthy or not, probably not even the most wealthy, just very wealthy people could manipulate this market. All right. I mean, they're doing it with the stock market. Stock market is a multi-trillion dollar market. Okay, so, I mean, do the math here. Um, but, like I said, just the best thing you can do, the best thing anybody can do, is just leave this alone. Just, And I don't mean get out of it. I mean, just take a step back. Don't look at it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's not doing you any good obsessing over this market. In my opinion, from what I can see that's happening uh, all over the world, okay, the reason why the whole world shut down, the reason why um, the, the unemployment levels are up, the reason why all these um, all these riots and protests and all this stuff is happening right now is because your attention is being diverted from the real, I'll say, one of the real situations that's happening. And what is that? Well, it's a reset. The whole world, the whole, I mean, everything, the whole world is about to reset financially. Okay, this has happened already. You know, we the reason why we're we have we had gotten into what was called the petrol or the petrodollar uh, era, I'll say, uh, and that happened back in the seventies. It, it, it was because there were people who wanted to make the money they wanted to make using oil. Now, it's changing. The way money is going to be made has not been revealed to you yet. I have an idea. I'm not going to share that right now. I have not fully proven uh, enough to myself what this is. But believe me, it will blow your mind if it is true. And I keep talking about this technology and whatnot that's about to happen, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you had any idea, you know, or rather, if if I were to say to some of the things that I've come across, it would absolutely blow your mind. But that's not what this, this is all about right now. I'm just simply here to show you a couple things and hopefully ease any tensions or ease a little bit of the tension you might have right now just just sit back relax there's nothing you can do about this 
but as far as changing the direction and the speed that it's happening, it's happening and it's intimate, it's imminent. It's happening right now. Okay. The best thing you can do if you want to protect your assets is probably do your research. You know, you might want to talk to a uh, financial advisor and all of that stuff, I, which I am not. Uh, but investments in physical gold and silver is a good idea. Uh, most of you are invested in crypto. That's a good idea. Um, you know, it, it's that's the best thing you can do to protect your wealth. Okay. Um, I understand a lot of us were displaced as far as uh, work goes. And all of that, however, you should have been able to get uh, the the stimulus money through um, through the unemployment system. Uh, and all I can say is, don't let that money go to waste. It's um, it's free money, six hundred you know plus dollars every week extra, which should continue until the end of July. Uh, I mean, uh, hey. That's all I can say. You know, again, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your research and find out what's best for you and your family. But nonetheless, this is happening and it's happening right now. So be ready and don't worry. <laughs> I know that's kind of, you know, uh, hard to say or hard to, you know, hard to actually do. It's easy to say, hard to do, but. Believe me, it, it, there's nothing you can do about it. So really, what point is there to worry about it, right? So, okay. So another thing I wanted to go over um, is this whole thing right here. I, I've, I've seen this uh, a lot, and it's it's really kind of, uh, kind of started to cool off a little bit. But, guys, uh, first, you got to understand where the idea of police came from. It, it doesn't have humble beginnings, okay? A police force and, and the reason why police are here, uh, yeah, it didn't start humbly. It started off with uh, soldiers or men uh, being employed to bring back runaway slaves, okay? That's how it started. There haven't always been police forces, not throughout history or anything like that, guys. Uh, even if you go back to, uh, you know, Rome or Greece and all that. Yeah, there were, there were men who were soldiers that protected the cities, but essentially those, uh, they were, for the most part, protecting the people who were in charge, like the government, you know, the government and the politicians and things like that. Okay. So it's, it's still kind of like that. Um, but what I'm trying to get to here, is in my opinion, I think it may not be necessary to uh, defund police. Okay, I think we need some type of uh, group who can come in if you need help. How many times? I mean, who can count how many times police have done uh, good when when it comes to the safety of people? All right, that's uh, that's a hands down you know, no contest, it is necessary because what person sitting in their home is going to come out and, and try to protect someone else? I mean, most people don't even know how to use a gun. Okay. So do, are the police necessary? Yes. If the police weren't there, the, you know, and, and funded, which who are funded by the city, if they weren't there, you'd have a third party security, uh, a, you know, company doing this. And I really don't think that would be a good idea. You would, oh man, I can just imagine the corruption that could go on in, in a situation like that. So, uh, again, I, I just, I personally think it's a bad idea. I just think that what needs to happen is everything needs to be gone through it. Like there has to be some revaluation. Uh, of the of all the police forces, all the all the men and women who are working in that capacity, they need to be evaluated properly. They need to be uh, held to a higher standard. And what I mean by that is, 
they need to be subject to a more severe punishment than any citizen. Okay, because they have been through the training, they should know they should know better. They should be held to a higher standard, period. I, I think that is absolutely necessary. There's way too much uh, at risk and on a daily basis, and even for them. They have to be, uh, you know, I think this would even help their safety, okay? I've seen some pretty terrible things that police officers have done, and it, and it, it just absolutely makes no sense. It, it really, it really doesn't. I think it's now we have... Uh, all these different cases that are being reinvestigated and, and looked into and things like that that were originally swept under the rug. And these were things, these were crimes that these police officers committed. And the only way we're going to ha have them held accountable, you know, or rather give them incentive to do the right thing, is to hold them more highly accountable for their actions. That's my opinion. I mean, someone may disagree with me, but that's the way I feel about it. You know, that's that's how it is for truck drivers. If you're a truck driver and you have an, an accident, it is more even if it wasn't your fault, they're going to look at you and say, hey, you could have done something to avoid this accident. What were you doing when you, you know, they, they look at a truck driver more heavily than they would. Uh, a person who is just, you know, driving a, uh, uh, you know, a standard vehicle out there. So why is it that police officers are not held to a higher standard? I think that uh, basically reevaluating all the, you know, the training, the, uh, the officers and holding them to a higher standard with a higher level of punishment for any crimes they commit. I think that would definitely um, change some things, make things better, return, uh, thing, or, uh, I don't know if necessarily returning, but at least makes, th make things better, make the, uh, it could possibly make the relationship between police officers and, um, and, you know, your average citizen much better. Now, are there people out there committing crimes? Hell yes, on a daily basis. And that's one reason why police officers are needed. But if you have someone selling cigarettes or jaywalking, does that, you know, if a police officer is having a bad day and he ends up uh, breaking someone's arm or slamming their head in the concrete or, uh, you know, or shooting them, I think they're at, they have to be held very highly responsible for their actions. Just my opinion. All right. So, um, guys, other things that I wanted to talk about, I'm not going to get into right now. Uh, it's just, I just felt like this was something I really wanted to get off my chest, but there's so much else going on. So many things that, um, would really blow your minds. Uh, honestly, there's some things I would like to talk about, but I swear to you, <laughs> guys, you would think I'm crazy, but it's the absolute truth. Uh, I could, I mean, bring to you, it, like I said, it would just blow your minds what's happening. The things that are, that are basically going on out there, it just is unbelievable. And this is all related to the times we're going through. Now, is this the end of the world? No, absolutely not. There's still a lot of stuff that has to happen. Um, the things that I'm seeing right now, and you guys, if, if, uh, any of you who have seen my previous videos, I did say more pain was coming. Now, I knew something was going to happen. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. But um, a number of years ago, I knew that after 2019, it was going to be pretty bad. Okay? There's this period we have to go through. Uh, you know, this year, I guess, and hopefully it ends this year. It's, but we're in, we're going to enter into a time that's, that's really going to seem very, very good. Okay. That's just from what I understand and what I'm, you know, what I'm researching. That's what I'm seeing. Um, we're going to see some great prosperity. We're going to see, uh, 
you know, levels of technology that, that we've never seen before. They're gonna, there are things that are going to be revealed again that, that will absolutely blow your minds. And it's gonna be a good time. It won't continue like that forever. I don't know how long that's gonna last. But again, my research tells me that we have a bit of time before things start to get crazy again. Now, um, yeah, uh, maybe one day I'll get into that. Uh, this channel really isn't set up for uh, that type of stuff. So we'll see. Uh, maybe if you guys are, are interested, I can yeah, go down that road. Um, but again, we'll just have to see. Otherwise, I really hope you guys are just staying safe and uh, keeping yourselves in the know. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. A few clicks. Uh, <laughs> honestly, a few clicks in Google or uh, your... It, honestly, Bing is very, very good. Bing is very good. Also, DuckDuckGo. Uh, either way, guys, the information is out there. And it's at your fingertips and easy to find. I mean, literally, the entirety, the absolute entirety of human knowledge is online and you can find it as easy as going to your refrigerator and getting a coke okay now all uh, honestly not all information is online there's, a, there's some things that are, that's kept offline there are references to it but you'll never actually see that information however the majority of the information is there so just as a little correction anyway guys again thank you so much for your time i hope you guys have a great night and sleep well again if you have not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button button <laughs> if i can talk and the post notification button guys until next time this has been mr free coiner take care of yourselves and God bless. Thank you.